How y'all doing? The future's so bright. I gotta wear shades. <laughs> How y'all doing? It's pop all in. <laughs> oh. Oh. We're gonna talk about cheap ways to come up with seeds for your garden. We'll be right back right after this. things I want to talk about today is is how to you know the name of my channel is doing it cheap and if you do it for nothing that's about as cheap as you can get and I can't help but laugh sometimes people pick at some of my videos they will pick at me and the whole idea is they lose complete sight out of what it was I was trying to teach them <laughs> Like somebody's gonna make a comment probably about this red blanket I got hanging here. Who knows? But whatever. <laughs> the red blanket ain't got nothing to do with what I'm trying to teach you. Oh. Okay, let's see. Let me start off by telling you what this is right here. Uh, I'm sure a bunch of you know what aloe vera is. Well, have you ever heard of a yucca plant? A yucca plant Get them up there closer, you can see them. A yucca plant looks just like aloe vera plants. They do to me because I'm not real familiar with aloe vera plants, but all of them that, you know, of that type, like uh, aloe vera, agave, yucca, they all look very similar to me. Well, what this is, is is the flower stalk. The yucca plant actually, and it's come off my farm, the yucca plant will have a couple of flower stalks come up like this and have the most beautiful flowers on them. I mean, oh my God, they smell so good. And they just come out of here and they're hanging down and just, oh, just like perfume. But that's not, that's not long lived because soon soon after that then the blooms all blow away then here come the birds to get them seeds out of these little pods so I don't know if I was able to get these this year or not but here are some yucca seeds from the same plant that I collected last year and I haven't planted these yet uh, I want to make sure they got good and dry it's pretty interesting uh, if you read on them about how they, uh, I think it actually takes like two years for these to sprout. Not sure. I think I read that. Anyway, if you can, if you can find something that's already growing, by golly, you can't get seeds no cheaper. This right here, this is from the heads of marigold marigold flowers and if you just take a marigold flower and you just rub it the little stem not stem but the base of the flower after it's turned brown you just sort of roll it in your fingers and it just fall apart and hundreds of seeds will fall out maybe not hundreds out of that one little pod but you'll get close to a hundred just out of one dead flower you got close to a hundred marigold seeds and uh, they kind of hard to do it any cheaper than that instead of paying even <laughs> even paying a dime for a little packet of them you know here was just a few flower heads that made all those right yonder this is bell pepper seeds that I collected out of a bell pepper and 
then what I've done this year is I've been collecting seeds out of different uh, things that have come out of the garden. Here's bell pepper. Just saved the seeds out of them. Didn't cost a thing in the world. Here is long watermelon. I don't know what kind it was. It was a long one. It wasn't a little round one. So that's what I called it, long watermelon. And all those seeds come out of just one melon. So, my God. If you figure you get two or three watermelons off each plant, and each seed was to give you a plant, each one of them seeds give you two or three watermelons, Lord of mercy, we'd have a room full of watermelons, wouldn't we? Camden's Oakery. My grandson grew some okra this year. And, of course, you, you wait till the pod turns uh, dead dry. I mean, dry as it can be. It turned brown and, and brittle. And you can just mush it up your hand, take the seeds out of it, put them in a jar, save them for next year. This is seeds out of one cantaloupe, just one. Called it Camden's cantaloupe. Again, that's my grandson. He grew some cantaloupes. This is a cantaloupe from 2016 that I had. And here are seeds from jalapenos. Yep, the ones you buy in a grocery store. You can save the seeds out of them and let them dry and then put them in a jar and plant them next year. And then here was my grandson's watermelon. He grew them little sugar babies, you know. It's about the size of a soccer ball. It was so sweet. Oh, it was good. Oh, it's good. So that's what most people think about when they think about saving seeds or, you know, collecting seeds or getting cheap seeds to grow for the garden next year. Let me show you a few more tricks. Now, we're going to have a part two to this video. Part one, you're going to see me plant some seeds. And then part two, we're going to come back, you're going to see them sprouted. Okay? And I'm going to actually plant them in egg cartons because I get a dozen different seeds in these egg cartons and right now it is September the 12th so we're not going to be growing a garden this time of year anyway but I just want to show you that these seeds will sprout and uh, I had a I had a bunch of lights all set up I had a, had a nice thing going in on in here one year to uh, uh, get my seeds started had my warm fluorescence as well as my cool and uh, did really did really well starting seeds. Well, I want to show you something that I did, and I cannot believe how successful this was. And I urge all of you to pay attention to this right here. I don't care if you buy the tomato in a grocery store. I don't care if it's a tomato you bought off a farmer or picked out of your own garden. If it's a tomato you like, you know, if it's the type you like or whatever, Take that tomato and cut you a slice out of that thing. About a quarter inch thick. Then lay it in a shallow container and put dirt over it. That's it. There are probably, I'm, I'm just looking here guessing real quick, three, six, nine, two, four, six. There's over 50 seeds in that slice of tomato right there. And I did this one year and it looked like, it looked like a chia pet. It looked like it, this thing was growing hair. So we're gonna try it. We've already got the moisture built in. 
I'm going to just cover it with dirt and see what happens with it. And uh, whenever I do see it dry out, of course, I'll keep it. I'll keep it down. But uh, I want y'all to see how many dadgum tomatoes, tomato plants, sprout out of that slice of tomato. That's doing it cheap and easy right there. All right, now here's what, here's what you might not think of. And I've done it, and I know it works. <laughs> Why should you pay a dollar or more for a little old package of seeds? Look here. These black-eyed peas will grow. You can plant these black-eyed peas right here. And have you a big old garden full of black eyed peas just with that dollar and something cent worth of that dollar and something cent a bag or whatever. There's a pound of them. It costs a little over a dollar. My God, that will grow that grow enough black eyed peas to feed this whole town I'm living in. Popcorn. Popcorn to grow. For shits and giggles, you ought to try it. You ought to try growing popcorn. It's fun. It's interesting. It's different. If your children have never seen popcorn grow, it's a learning experience for them. If you've never seen it grow, it's a learning experience for you. The difference in growing popcorn and the difference in growing maybe sweet corn or field corn or whatever is you go ahead and let your popcorn dry on the stalk. What I mean by that is you don't pick the you don't pick the popcorn kernels off, or ears off while it's still green. Just let it grow for the season. And then whenever the, the husk is turned you know brown and dry, then harvest them and, and shell it and put them in a in a container, whatever. But we're gonna try we're gonna try white popcorn. And we're going to try some yellow popcorn. Now, I got these only because I had never seen them grow. I have no idea what garbanzo bean plants look like. But I do know I like to eat garbanzo beans, or some people call them chickpeas. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to grow some of these or just see if they'll sprout. Like I said, I don't know nothing about them. I I never had any. Uh, as far as out of the garden, uh, it says beans are a natural agricultural product. Sort and rinse for cooking. Okay. Well, anyway, garbanzo beans. And by and by the way, that's a that's a pound of them too. Pinto beans. Good Lord, look at all the pinto beans you can get for. I think I think it was a that was a dollar nineteen or something like that for two pounds. But here's the one I I'm gonna have the most fun with. Look here. This is ham flavored sixteen bean soup mix. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna I'm going to uh, sort through here and get the, get these beans out. It says ham flavored. That's because there's a seasoning packet in here. It's not the beans themselves haven't been uh, soaked in any kind of in any kind of flavoring. Let me let me show you that quick. See, there's a flavor packet. <clears throat> These are just dry beans. There's lima beans and oh, big lima beans and little ones. There's pinto beans and kidney beans and brown, some kind of brown beans. There's black eyed peas. There's white navy beans. There's green lentil type beans. There are all kinds of beans here. Like I said, it's 16 beans. So this is going to be a little bit of fun. So folks, you can't find I mean, my God, there's 16 different flavors of beans there. If there ain't a flavor of beans in there you like, there ain't no pleasing you. <laughs> 
So, I'm going to get all these planted. I'm going to water and just and probably just set them up there on top of the refrigerator. And uh, we'll be back with part two. So, I hope this opens your eyes, give you some ideas of where you can get the seeds. Like I said, you can get them out of bell peppers. A bunch of seeds right there. You can get right out of a bell pepper. Just let them dry. You get them out of your, get them out of your jalapenos. You get them out of everything. So give that some thought next time you cook and sit there and say, wait a minute, why don't I save them seeds? See if we can have some fun with them. I've got a, I've got a lemon tree out there that's six or seven foot tall that I grew from a seed out of a lemon. You know, just have fun with it. Okay, folks, y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye. We'll see you at part two, all right?